Hey y'all, today we're gonna do a review on the Ninja Foodie. All while having a whole lot of fun. This wow. thing, y'all, is a tank. Hey guys, welcome back to my camper kitchen. We are here today to deliver on the promise that we gave you about a month, month and a half ago to review the Ninja Foodie. Goody, goody, we got a foodie. <laughs> We have been so enjoying this. I was joking with Mike. I was like, oh, we need to tape that review, but I want to cook our um, electric pressure cooker uh, pork chili verde tonight. So then I said, well, heck, if I'm looking for a time to review this when it doesn't have food in it, then we're never going to review it. So it's currently cooking, or actually it's naturally releasing right now while we are taping this because... <laughs> We pretty much use this at a minimum twice a day because every day every day and she's holding up well the foodie is too yes for the wear and the tear and we are very very an easy easy cleanup that's one of the things I really really like about it so what we wanted to do today with our review now this isn't going to be like an in-depth spec review this is going to be like real life how we real life have used it, what we enjoy about it, what are some of the mm -hmm. differences with it, maybe some of the things we maybe don't enjoy, um, and just to kind of tell you. Now, one thing we need to make clear right off the bat is this is model, I believe, 302, and before we started having crop posse members contact us, we didn't know there are multiple models that don't have the same features. Think of it like if you're going to go to the dealership and buy a car. Like, for instance, a Toyota. If you're going to buy the basic standard model, you're buying an SR5. But then if you want to buy one that's a pre-runner and it's got some it's really cool sporty, sporty things on it, or if you want to buy an LTD, which is the limited, it's got the leather seats, it's got the JBL stereo, it's got the Bluetooth OnStar, blah, 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 blah or you could buy the basic model, that's what we're seeing. Because some folks have contacted us and saying, hey, my model doesn't have the thing where you can make the jerky. Somebody else was saying, well, hey, my model doesn't have this, or well, my model has something else. Right. Walmart is going to have, like, one of the models they, they have, have there. multiple. But you're going to see, like, a cheaper model, and folks were saying, well, if you go to Walmart, it's cheaper. That's because it's not the same model that we have here. This would be, like, the LTD, the limited edition. It's got all the bells and whistles on it. So what, what I would advise you to do when you're looking online and or in a physical store is don't be worried about what it has, what it doesn't have as much uh, based off of other people, but what are you going to use it for? Like ours has the dehydrator and I know you're super excited about possibly doing jerky, but honestly... I gotta go find me an elk real quick. But it's, yeah. it's not, that's not worth what this what this costs to me to have a dehydrator because we don't do that an awful lot really what I wanted she it says for, that until I go get myself an elk. <laughs> what I wanted it for was the um, air fryer and pressure cooker combined and then I really have enjoyed the oven feature and I'm pretty sure double check before you buy anywhere that all of them have those three features included so but what I wanted to talk a little bit about is um, a couple of the questions that I personally had when we were starting out. So one of the things that the pressure cooker, electric pressure cookers, which that's the lid that's currently on our foodie right now, um, they get kind of a bad rap in the slow cooking world because they don't slow cook as warm as what some of the newer slow cookers right. do. Now what I will tell you is I found this to be almost kind of in the middle when it comes to that. It's not as cool as how my Instant Pot cooks, or the unit that I have and the unit, my Instant Pot unit. Let me be very clear because it could be different for different people. Remember what um, we say about some slow cookers cook yeah. faster and slower yeah. and hotter and everything? Same thing with electric pressure This does pressure not cook as hot and as fast as a um, Ninja Multi Cooker set on high or low. Um, it will cook a little bit slower, which isn't such a bad thing, especially here in the camper kitchen. I was planning out where we're going to be going um, on some hikes and some things like that, and I'm like, oh, that slow cooker recipe 
typically takes five hours. Well, in this, it might take about seven hours. Um, but that still, uh, it got a roast done for me in eight hours, which I I think says and that it, it was good. It has that that gives it a decent five star in the slow cooking department for me. If it can still achieve a perfect roast in eight hours, I'm thinking. The slow cooking is on point. It's just not, we're all so used to our slow cookers cooking so, so hot these days because all the newer model slow cookers were all cooking super hot. This does cook, like I said, I would put it on the cooler side of the newer models, but not as cool as like the old, old fashioned right. crock pots. So, so that gives you that, so that gives you that answer. So yes, I do consider this an all-in-one unit in which I do enjoy slow cooking and I typically don't like to slow cook in my other electric pressure cookers. My crock pot express comes close. If I'm in a pickle I'll use it but I'll be really really honest and I love all the instant pot pro products but I don't like slow cooking in my instant pot. Yeah. So that that gives you kind of the spectrum of that. So I do like the slow cook feature but you're gonna have to allow a little bit more time. Um, one of the other differences with this and most of your basic electric pressure cookers that are out there is that this is just a little bit bigger of a pot. It's a 6.5 quart pot instead of the traditional 6 quart. Now I know you can get the 8 quart and, and even bigger, but this is a 6.5 quart pot and I don't know if it's because of that, but I find that this pressure cooker takes a lot longer to um, quick release pressure than my other pressure cookers do. What about bringing up the pressure? Um, I would say it does take a little bit longer. Not, not, no, it's not as noticeable getting up to pressure as it is to release pressure. When it's releasing pressure, I'm like, I'm like, seriously, it's still going. <laughs> like I'm always thinking that, and I've cooked with it, like I said, for about a month, month and a half now, on a daily basis, and every time I'm like seriously you're still going um so um but but i will say i do enjoy that extra half half quart in there in order to uh fit all my food down below the max line and get all that kind of stuff in there so i am enjoying the bigger pot i love whatever that pot is made i think it's a ceramic pot something like that I told y'all I was going to laminate this sucker and I and sure she totally did. Out in the instructions. <laughs> um, I was trying to see if they call it a ceramic pot or whatever but whatever that inside um, pot is that I we can't really show you because it's cooking right now um, I like what that coating is because it does not scratch real easy because here it is um, our oven or not oven yeah the air crisper basket that you use that goes down inside it's been freshly washed that's why oh, water's okay. going <laughs> um, it's a pretty big basket too. yeah it just was washed um, because it it had made bacon um so this guy really good bacon <laughs> yeah, too sets down inside that pot and i tell you what in it we even ride around with it in the rv and it does not scratch that inside of the pot at all. So I really like that because that nonstick coating in like a traditional Ninja, it can it scratch. Chips. It'll chip off. We, uh, the one that we leave in the, tra I actually have a Ninja that's dedicated to our um, travel trailer because it gets beaten up all kinds of things and it's scratched all the inside. But this guy has totally held up and I really like that. Um, one of the things I didn't know, I guess I, if I looked in there, I would have known. This thing comes off for easy cleaning. I didn't know that either. I just thought she broke it. <laughs> That's because you haven't washed it here. No. <laughs> Not yet. So this pops on like that. Okay, so this comes with your unit. This, These two pieces, because this is how you air fry with this lid. It comes with an air pr uh, uh, um, electric pressure cooker lid. And then it also comes with this little guy that helps you be able to steam. I believe steam is, we'll keep it, here we go. It goes like this in there and you can steam things down in the regular pot or you can flip it this way and put it down in there. I think I'm doing that right, but no, it's this way. And put it down in there and then you can use the broil feature. So if you want to, you didn't know that. We're gonna make steaks soon, y'all. Yeah. 
Mom's been, I've been broiling, baking. They don't know what all I'm doing. Last night I was making deep dish pizzas for them in it. And they oh, were, oh, oh, oh. She made using this little bitty pan here. Looks like come out of an Easy Bake Oven. <laughs> she made some Cheddar Bay biscuits, low carb Cheddar Bay biscuits, yes. yesterday morning for breakfast. Yes. Oh, my gosh like it they tasted like they came out of an oven because when you bit into them they were crisp on the outside like those biscuits are but in the middle it was all doughy chewy perfect you know what i mean so yeah i'm sold when it comes to the baking feature on this thing yes so but this does not come with it so we'll talk about these two things are in our camper i believe in our camper kitchen um influencer in our influencer shop link down below on amazon yes you can find these. These work in any kind of air fryer, but they also work in the Ninja Foodie. So we have these two things. This is what I make my air fryer meatballs in. It's a nice little, it's got a handle to get it in and out. That is one of the things that I will tell you is a little difficult inside this sucker. It'd be perfect for me when I go trick or treating here in a couple weeks. <laughs> is going in and out. So I like literally am using this to help get uh, this little pizza pan. This pizza pan comes in really handy because you can make pizza in it, you can make cinnamon rolls in it, you can make, uh, we make biscuits. And I will tell you, if you just made biscuits and just bake them in it like you, and we're going to show you guys over the coming weeks how to make a lot of these recipes. But if you just make biscuits in this, I'm going to give you a little tip and you just cook them like you would in an oven, the tops get done, but the bottoms tend to not be as done. So what I like to do is cook them until they're almost completely done, and then a minute in, or a minute, when there's a minute left, you can just pop this open, carefully remove this, and then I flip them over, and I let the bottoms bake for a minute and it they come out perfect right just absolutely perfect and so and one of the reasons why we like this in our camper kitchen is because it gives us a really good oven because camper our camper oven we're just not really that big a fan remember when i said easy bake oven yeah. that's pretty much what it is now another accessory that i believe is also i will make sure is in our camper um shop is pan which i'm going to make our um pull apart bread at some point in um, and this is a little butt pan that's also a spring loaded pan that I'm going to test out some cheesecake eventually in too. So. I'm okay with this. So yeah, so these little pans also are made to fit inside of here and cook inside of here. But so you can get these types of accessories to go along with it but I will say like my two cons when it comes to pro cons my two cons here would be that I, although I love the lid that closes down over top, it does make it more difficult to get things in and out when air frying, which you kind of have to touch a little bit more than when you're just pressure cooking. Um, and then I will say it does take longer to come down from pressure than my other ones. And that's, those are two minor kind of cons. The pros for me, I love having this whole unit together. I love from an air frying standpoint that I can open and shut the air fryer um, without jostling the food around. That has become huge. It's also so much easier to clean up the air fryer portion because the lid comes open and you can just wipe this down instead of sticking your arm inside and trying to get everything cleaned up there. Love, love, love that. Um, I love that you can take things that you pressure cook and just switch the lids and then go straight into we made some amazing ribs that way where we could just broil them right off the bat um I, it's just so far it's really held up like i said we make it we almost every morning have bacon we're making bacon in it now um, we usually oven bake our bacon at home mm -hmm. and she tried to test this out to see how well it would do with doing a batch of bacon mm -hmm. now on in an oven you're going to put it on a sheet so you're going to be able to do more at one time however like in an oven it takes to have perfect bacon at our house it takes about 30 35 minutes mm -hmm. and and but and doing that you're keeping from you know overcooking your bacon in a skillet this at home 
takes, what is it, 12 minutes yes. at 360? If you keep your lid completely shut. Don't look. Don't look inside. Because if you open it, you're going to have to add some minutes. Mm -hmm. Now, now in, uh, like we're in Utah taping this right now, mm -hmm. and it takes about 15 minutes because we're on a higher elevation. Mm -hmm. But still, 15 minutes, it cooks six strips of bacon. That's, to me, it's the con, is you're not going to cook as much in here. Mm -hmm. But in 15 minutes in Utah, or 12 minutes back in Indiana, <laughs> you're going to have enough bacon for two people. I and usually then, just take my pound package, divide it in half. Yeah. I crowd my bacon a little bit, but it still crisps it up. The, nice. That's the thing is you don't have to flip it or anything. It no. crisps it up on both sides. It makes the perfect bacon. If you want it a little chewier, I go about, I don't know, 10 minutes. If you like it burnt, well, put it in a skillet. And if you're someone who enjoys cooking with bacon fat, like this meal right now, I had to have bacon to go in the dish. So I air fried my bacon, the bacon fat fell to the bottom of the pan, and then I chopped the bacon up to put in the pork chili verde that I've got in here. I just put the ingredients in with the bacon, instead of adding butter, I just left the bacon fat to go ahead. And so it's like a really easy way to multi-use because it's all in one pot. It made frying my bacon and pressure cooking my entire soup all in one pan so that it's easy cleanup which i really appreciate in this camper kitchen so but that's what i would say um those are the primary we have used the saute feature it's really really nice it has i love the saute feature it has multiple levels of saute you don't just cook it at a high you can bring it down to a medium if you want to so that's really really been nice um I love the bake feature and it truly, it's not like a steam bake like you're used to in the Ninja Multi Cookers. It's more like an oven bake because it's got this oven unit thing here that's going to give you the really crisp uh, crispness that you expect right. from an oven. And then you've got the air uh, crisp feature that's more like the air fryer that's going to rotate that air around. Um, and they give you like the really crispy. We've made we've made all kinds of chicken in this, um, and it's been fantastic. So I'm giving this two thumbs way up. Like I said, I can't find a time that this thing isn't in full use. Um, around here, we love it. We absolutely love it. Um, I I would say yes. It's very similar to the other electric pressure cookers that are out there. And um, it's also, I would say, in my opinion, it's be it's as equally as nice as the other pressure cookers out there, except for maybe the slow cooker feature, which I think is a little bit above par for it. Not not ninja slow cooker. It's not like yeah. But the other thing is, when if you have a slow cooker. Even like the, my favorite one, the, the favorite ninja that I always uh -huh. use, it's an all-in-one, which is an oven, saute, you know, slow cook and all that. But it's that's its main purpose. It's not right. like oh, you can pressure cook in it, you can air bake in it, you can do, you can air fry, you can do whatever. Right. It's it's more uh, skill specific. This is it's like, like a, a Swiss kitchen. Army knife, yes. but made handmade in Switzerland. <laughs> so. It's not going to be as big as a Bowie knife, you know, or whatever. It's not going to be... It's, I, I I'm, I'm loving your analogies. <laughs> so if you go to a dealership for in Sweden... No, but it's... So everything might be a little more smaller, a little more compact. But for something that is as much of a multitasker as this is, yeah. it does all Watch, of its, it's tasks... Pressure, don't hit it. Oh, <laughs> it does all of its tasks equally well yeah. for the model that it is. This uh, thing, y'all, is a tank. Well, I will also say, though even all of those things considered if you told me i could try i have two different models of air fryers at home notice they aren't on the trip with me or this i would choose to air fry in this every day all day long i love the air fryer on this sucker here's what i want to try next on it mm -hmm. is i'm i keep touching it sorry let's come up here <laughs> What I'm going to do to test this thing out sometime really soon is I want to test that air fry feature even more, the, the broiling feature rather. Mm -hmm. I want to try steaks. Okay. Now I am a steak snob. <laughs> I like my steaks to be pan seared and then char grilled with butter. There's all kinds of different ways I like to do it, but I'm, 
very much very particular because when you're eating steak like especially a ribeye or fillet you're paying a good premium for that type of meat so you want to be able to enjoy it like you pay that premium so I'm gonna put this thing to the test because I want to take a premium piece of beef and cook it like a steak and see how well she holds up versus a well, grill. Well, and if you guys want to see that kind of stuff, we've been putting those kinds of things where we're like just kind of like, hey, will this work? And some things don't work. Um, we've been putting that on recipes that Crocs Instagram story, mm -hmm. and we'll put that steak when he tries that out on Instagram on recipes that Crocs Instagram story. We have a highlight called Foodie Fun. Um, that's F O O D I Fun. And you can see that, on, again, recipes at Crocs Instagram stories. Um, we've been sharing, our audience there has been really loving seeing us kind of like just say, hey, does this work? You know, I want to try, I want to try, like the other day I tried dry noodles in there with my chicken to just see, okay, will it work? And partially did work and now I've got an idea of how to make it work even better for the next time. So we've been kind of doing some of those kind of experiment things. Yes. You look so tiny. I know. You, you're from scale. Well what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and re this has been naturally releasing. I want to release this and then I'm going to um, maybe we can bring the camera up so they can see the inside of the bowl a little bit because I don't want you guys if, if this is your first uh, uh, experience with the foodie go back and watch our unboxing and we show you all the different parts that came with ours um, but this was just kind of us giving you our opinions after we've been like literally cooking okay alrighty so now we're just gonna take this lid off like I said this is a recipe that you will be seeing soon <laughs> on recipes at cock.com the big reveal Yes. Pork, oh, oh. chili, That's, verde. This is why it's good to have it laminated. See how, yeah, it just how got that steam all came off? Up. Oh my goodness. Check that out, y'all. That is beautiful. Yes. And it has filled this trailer with <laughs> so much aroma. Yes. So this is that nice ceramic coating. I have yet to see it scratch up. And look at how tender the, that uh, pork steak is for our pork. Just, are you watching that fall apart? Y'all, I'm in love. And see, I just have to fish out this bone. Um, and to, there's no meat on it. Nope. To cut Absolutely that not. out before cooking would have been a total pain. But it just comes right out with the pressure cooker. Mm-mm-mm. So, yep. There should be another one in there. But, yeah. So, that's what that ceramic coating looks like. I'm really a fan. I would love to have a lot of things coated in that. To be honest but this is the pot that's always in the foodie and then you set your um, air crisping basket down in there or you can set your steam or broiler um, piece down in there to use those features and that's also how that's why all these pans are also small is so they can fit inside so that, I think, is pretty much our review. If you have any questions about our usage of the foodie, like I said, I'm sure other people have used the dehydrator and other features, but I'm just sharing with you the things that we personally have used both at home, but also here on the road in our RV. It's really nice to have one unit that, that can do so many different things for us because um, it takes up far less space and we can just cook and cook and cook with it. I mean, like I said, uh, we've had this table out. That's another thing. It's super heavy. So in the RV, we have to bring this table out in order to cook with it um, because it's uh, a tank. It's a tank. So we, we like to have, give it a nice firm surface to cook off of. Um, and so it is heavy, but I would say it's worth it. I mean, we we totally have been enjoying this sucker. I I am shocked at how much I'm enjoying it, to be honest. Um, but if you like this video, or first of all, if you have any questions about the foodie, please leave them down below, and we'll try our best to answer it to the best of our knowledge just for us using this. Again, this was not sponsored. We totally paid for this. This is totally just off the cuff what we think because, well, 
we slow cook every day. We slow cook and pressure cook. That's kind of what our job is. So, um, so we wanted to definitely give this a try because so many Craft Classy members had asked us what our thoughts were about it. Um, but if you have a question, leave it down below. If you like this video, we'd love for you to give us a thumbs up. Um, if you are not already a member of the Crock Posse, we'd love for you to become a, a part of our slow cooking and pressure cooking and foodie family around here. And all you got to do is click subscribe. Right down below, right there. <laughs> And then you are a part of the Crack Posse. Um, if you would like to be notified every time we update with a food or travel video, click the ding a ling right, right, down right below. Down here. <laughs> it is uh, the notification bell. Um, if you, um, I, uh, there's all kinds of things that I want you to do. My goodness, what's the last thing? Oh, but whatever you do, we laugh often, eat good food, and speak life. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Ready? Mm-hmm. You ready? Yes. I squishy your hand. I squishy. Don't lick my hand. <laughs> I go that we were gonna do the hoobada. We're gonna hoobada doobada. We're gonna hoobada doobada. And today, we're gonna deliver. Oh, I'm having. Oh, I'm having a whole lot of fun. You gotta find yourself. Okay. Right there. Hey y'all, we promised you that we were gonna deliver. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny enough to send us money, click the Patreon. And we